Hey guys, so today's video is a very easy and quick one. It is how to make this uh, bracelet with uh, nice golden and purple tones. And um, it's perfect for the, the Christmas uh, dinners that you will attend. Anyway, things you will need is E6000 glue, and this thing is a working horse. Multicolored uh, beads, and I use this um, several, several of the same uh, box but with four different types of uh, sizes. I also used metallic thread and golden clasps as well as the rings for it. I used around three. Also two pliers and these are jewelry pliers and that's all you need. I placed the beads where I thought they would look nice and tried imagining how it would be after I threaded them and this is the final thing without the thread and I also started but as you can see I crisscrossed the thread with the smaller beads on the sides and the bigger beads in the center and then going into smaller beads on the sides and also towards the end I also used, you can, uh, if you feel like your chain that you'll need, the chunky chain that you'll need um, is uh, too small, cut too small, then you can put more beads on the outside. I put around three more on each side so that it would fit my wrist. That's a little trick that uh, is pretty good to do. As you can see, I crisscrossed and the bigger beads are in the center, un uniting the metallic thread. By the way, this thread is really good and I suggest it for smaller beads like uh, what I'm doing. And uh, you don't need any kind of needle for that, so that is good. Also, you can put more beads in the center, dividing them more. I prefer this more smaller, chunky look to the bracelet. And uh, as you can see, I'm showing you a little bit faster, but I'm pretty sure you can understand that basically there's three bigger beads, the biggest of the lot, basically, on the center. And then uh, the medium beads are the ones next to the center, and then smallest, and uh, the smallest of all are on the sides and on the tips. As you can see here, um, you also be you also need to be careful with uh, the thread because it can break if you use pliers. I didn't know this. However, I did learn. You don't really need to use the E6000 glue, but if you are paranoid like I am and have the worst luck with uh, jewelry, you might want that. After you knot the thread and go through the beads again, because it just holds everything in place and it's really really good actually I vouch for it anyway I am going to let you finish watching what I'm doing and relax and hear this wonderful music however if you enjoy this video please thumbs it up subscribe and comment below if you don't have the ability to comment then share it and talk to me on Twitter because I do enjoy a good conversation Anyway, enjoy. Oh, and here we are almost done. After this, uh, you use a jump ring to close off this area of the bracelet which is the beaded area and I use the plier to hold the jump ring and the other part of the wire in place and I just went crazy around the the wiring on the bottom part and then threaded it through the smaller beads once and then back again and uh, made a knot because you can it's actually kind of amazing and uh, glued it with E6000 glue. Then I cut the rest of the wire with the pliers and it's kind of actually difficult to do that. It's only 8 millimeter wire. Um, 
And uh, yeah, that's basically all you need because these beads, the smallest ones, are 4 millimeters. Oh, looky here. We are almost done. Now, you need to attach your chunky, chunky bracelet, or actually half of it, to the jump ring, which is big enough. The jump rings are, I think, 60, not 60, 6 millimeters wide. And uh, close it with your pliers very well, because it can slide off and break and you'll lose it and uh, add another jump ring to the other side with the clasp and close it off and what do you know you're done this only took maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes maximum because I was recording but this is it it's easy if you want to see more videos like this please check below for links for you cell phone users and also the annotations. Bye!